Okay, so I bought keel tape to help protect the underside of my kayak. As you can see, I got a couple of scrapes, a couple of scratches. It's usually from oyster bars or dragging it up on the beach on a boat ramp. It's concrete. So what I'm going to do is I bought some keel tape. It's uh, supposed to be really thick, and it seems like it's really thick uh, plastic sticky material that's supposed to go over the keel and help protect the vulnerable spots. So we're going to install it. I'm going to clean it, of course, first, and then I'm going to put the adhesive down. I'm going to heat it with a hair dryer or a heat gun, make sure it's good and formed, and we'll see how it comes out. So we'll check it out. So I've got it conformed to the keel. And it's looking like it's going to adhere good. I've used the blow dryer on it to smooth it out and make sure it's really well healed into the plastic itself. The uh, glue is very sticky. It's really good. Seems like it's going to be really good. It's very thick, which is what I like. It's protecting the keel. So when you drag it over oyster bars, you drag it over rocks or whatever, if you are doing that, which I have to do sometimes in the flats, this will protect it, and if this gets scratched up or torn up, I can just replace it with a new one, which is better than replacing the kayak. A lot cheaper, too. So I'm going to continue on and do the rest of the keel of the kayak on the bottom where I've got all these scratches, and we'll see how it goes. I'll put it back on time-lapse so you can watch the whole thing. So now we have keel guard from the front to the back on all the high spots. And it's adhering good. I overlapped the last part here to make sure that no sand or anything could get inside and start messing with it. But again, remember this is replaceable. So if you scratch your keel guard or the tape and you just simply peel it off and put a new piece on. And that'll help protect the underside high points of your kayak. I think it looks good. You won't see it because it's going to be underwater, of course. But not not bad. It took about, uh, I want to say, 25, 30 minutes most. And I'm going to let it sit out in the sun, the Florida sun, to help heat it and let it settle into, into place. And it should uh, should do the trick. 